Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside our settings, we're going to see the first option where it's going to see your name or your device's name. Just make it back up there using iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, you could connect your iPad to your computer and just make it back up there. Once you've done that, the second option might say software update available. However, that's not going to say for everybody. So let's say that you don't have that. Scroll all the way down to general. Under general, you're going to see the second option where it says software update. And under software update, you're going to see the latest update available for your iPad. So not everybody will see download and install. Some people might only see install and that's okay because depending on your settings, right now your iPad already downloaded the update. All you have to do is install it. And yes, this update is just half a gig. So we're just going to tap on download and install, putting a passcode if you have one, and then it's going to get rolling with the update. So first of all, make sure your iPad is fully charged. Even if it's fully charged, depending on how old your iPad is, I would suggest hook it up some electricity while you're running any updates. Now, as for the backup, it's not a requirement. It's just in case something goes wrong, at least you have a backup. So if you have to restore your iPad, which means deleting everything within it, you guys can just load everything back in. Now, as mentioned, if you run out of space in iCloud, you can always use your computer. You can always hook up your iPad to your Mac and use Finder to make that backup or PC. You guys can use iTunes. would also like to mention if you're having any problems with this update, maybe you're not seeing it. You could also hook up your iPad to your computers and run the update as well. All right. As mentioned, if you leave your iPad, it's just going to install the update. You're going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar. And once it's finally done, we're going to see finally software update. So right here, it's all done. We can just log in. Once we put on passcode, if you have one, you're just going to see everything normal. If we go into our settings right this second software update, we're going to see that we're all up to date. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.